Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. We got a new patch. We got a new hero. So in the new patch, um, they did some adjustments. Mechs are worse. Quillbores are better. Pirates are better. And heroes get this thing called armor at the start. And you start a new round of battlegrounds. You get like a little armor value or something. And uh, it tells you what it is. It happens within a range. So one hero doesn't have a set amount of armor. It belongs to like a range tier. So the same hero sometimes will show up with like 7 armor. And sometimes they'll show up with 10 armor. And the more armor range they have is based on how crappy the heroes are. Basically. So. That's basically the patch. Now the new hero they also implemented with the patch, the patch is wonderful by the way, I love the armor system, is Tamsin. So Tamsin is a single new hero for this patch. I think it's fine because the armor system is awesome. However, Tamsin, maybe not so awesome. Um, I'm giving you guys this video with just one day of experience. I think I had three Tamsin runs and chat seems to think that Tamsin is horrible. I still have mixed thoughts about Tamsin. Now, to get started with how the hero actually works, hero power costs zero once a turn. You can activate it if you want. You can not activate it. Sometimes you will not want to activate it because it can be a downside. The way it works is um, during combat, right before combat begins, um, your lowest health minion is killed. It does trigger death rattle effects and all that kind of crap. Um, and its health is added just for that combat to all the cards on the board. Now, usually the way a game of Battlegrounds is played is you have, you know, maybe one, but usually like three, four, maybe five, maybe six if you're really lucky, pretty strong cards, and then one card that you're using as a support to buff them, to buff the future, maybe like a Divine Shield thing, and that one card usually has totally terrible stats. So Tamsin's hero power is going to hit that card. So that's why people think that Tamsin is not a good hero, and I am not here to tell you it is a good hero. Tamsin might be the worst hero in the game. That is entirely possible. However, what I'm here to tell you is that there are some comps that Tamsin actually seems to do quite well with. The consistency, which basically is the measure of how strong the hero is, I don't know. I played it like three times. My opponents like never played Tamsin, to be frank. And uh, there's obviously no stats because this video is made with one day of experience in the new patch. So how is Tamsin good? Now there are a few builds out there that utilize uh, many big cards, um, but a lot of them are kind of like broken builds, and by broken I mean not complete. So one build, for example, that is an incomplete build that has only big cards typically um, is like a Murloc build, uh, especially if you're ending on a Swolfin. Now, it's a broken build because the, the better build is just to have Bran. And if you have Bran Murlocs, then your hero power is hitting Bran. So the hero power, well, it's actually pretty terrible. Um, so, there's, again, not a lot of things. Um, there is the, the Quillbore build. So they did buff Quillbores a little bit better now. Uh, basically, if you have Shargla and uh, the, the Beast, the Boar, a, a Gamagan or whatever, it's buffing the whole board. So if you're buffing the whole board, um, your lowest health minion might actually be pretty good. Um, again, in my opinion, practically playing those builds, um, the last card to join the board still doesn't really have that many stats. So if you're losing like a 10-10 to get 10 health on everything, that's pretty good. But if you're already at that stage, that build is typically going to do pretty well already. So how much of a difference does it make? I don't really know. The one build that I think is actually very strong is Elementals. Now, typically... It's not going to be like the Nomi style elementals because Nomi is a 4 4 at best, an 8 8 golden. Maybe you got some extra buffs, but likely not. Now, the one thing that changes this is the, the Dazzling Light Spawn, which is the Tavern 4 elemental with the Avenge 2 that buffs future elementals. Kind of like Avenge 2 Nomi Effect 1. Um, if you're playing elementals being scaled with that and or Ragnaros, and I'm typically talking and. Um, you're not going to have any weak minions on the board. So if you sacrifice like a 40-40 minion to buff 
the rest of your minions by 40 health, that is absolutely worth it. Now, that's a bit optimistic. In practice, you're not really going to get exactly the one build that you're trying to pull off when you play any given game at Battlegrounds. So today's video isn't like the greatest build ever, but I definitely tried to push the narrative of elementals, and I think it's a pretty reasonable, not too crazy build that seems to have worked out pretty well. And uh, yeah, give you some idea how to play the hero. Good or bad, this appears to be the best way to take Tamsin on. Enjoy. Tamsin. Have elementals. Okie dokie. Mm, muting for this one. Get your goggles on. We're clear for a takeoff. Up, because here we go. That battle belongs to you. Marvelous work. Where you want to go fast. Drink? Need a drink? What can I say? You're the natural. Welcome back, Ace. Violence is usually the answer. Marvelous work. Seen you come back from worse. Violence is usually the answer. Buckle up, because here we go. Great job! Violence is usually the answer! There's no stopping you!
how it's done. Great job. My shield, what are they? How it's done. Great job. Perhaps they need a lesson in pain. There's no stopping you. All right. <clears throat> this is Diablo. Okay. Looking pretty good, I'd say. Yep. Very good. Masters of Reality build. I don't think many people survive that one. Okay. Nine Master of Realities. Seems pretty good to me. Marvelous work. <clears throat> this guy's super heavy on attack, but um, looks like that's not going to work. Let's see Diablo. 6, 7, 13, 15, 12, 15. Wow. And that's how it's done. Great job. Yeah, I mean those those were pretty good cards. Ooh, that's a big one. Hmm. Is that worth it? Probably. I'd probably want to, like, drop that, play that. Bury the 
the bone is lost to the Yep. Let's get rid of that. Next. I don't think so. Paragos of scales, but I need need more power for that to work. My shield for The skies belong to you. Guess some advanced in me here. No buffs this time. That's good too. I think the road bore is kind of expired. That's a big one. Let's make this spicy. Take a deep breath. Okay, that was a bit of a boomer hit at the end. Turn 11, double no me. However, interesting. Just for you. Last round. Well, I have 32 health. I, I do not think this is the last round, no. I'll make sure everyone's here when you get back.
What the fuck? That was hardly representative of what I felt just happened, by the way. Point, just pointing that out. <clears throat> Let's get some new faces around here. So, here's your goal. Oh, come on. God damn it. Okay, let's do one more Nomi preparation here. So bad. <laughs> okay, dude. Okay. I yeah, I just wanted to play this here some more, so I guess I guess we're good. Yeah, we're 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 good. We're good. Don't don't worry about it. Yeah, don't don't, don't worry about it. We'll get 15 health on all our guys. Oh yeah, 14, sorry. Okay, I can't lose that. This, this, this has got to be a 100% because everything was shit. No, apparently it's possible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, first try achievement. Let's go. Nice. Look at that. That's my biggest master realities, and it's my first Tamsin Roan game. That's pretty good. It wasn't that lucky. I went elementals on turn 11. Okay. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs>